guys welcome to another video in today's video we are making another crochet um tutorial another crochet dress uh, i've been wanting to make something similar to this for a while because i did make something similar to this in the past um but then that was a summer version of it so i wanted to make myself a winter version something with long sleeve instead of just the off the shoulder so i'm super super excited to make this um, piece and of course I want to take you guys through the process in case you want to make yourself one then this video will basically um, show you how I made mine so you will be able to learn a few stuff and few things from it so you can be able to make yours um, it is a big project but then it's super super simple like it's the basic of the basic I use most of the basic stitches there is no stitch that I use in this tutorial or in this video that are no beginner like every beginner can make this you just it's probably going to take you more time but it's super super simple the instructions as well are going to be super super simple and straight to the point um it is a big project because again I, it is super oversized so that means it's going to take a lot of time for you to go through the rows but i promise you this is definitely a piece that you will feel super comfortable and confident in and then you would probably wear this for the rest of your life because again it's oversized you're not gonna just all of a sudden it doesn't fit you're gonna wear this for the rest of your life so it's something i'll definitely definitely um, encourage you to make if you like it and then you want to make it don't feel discouraged about how long it's gonna take just think about how long for how long you're gonna keep this right for the material you can actually just use whatever you want to use but because it's a super oversized um feet um piece i would not suggest you go for anything heavy i am using a medium weight yarn right here i am using a medium weight yarn so because i am going to use lots of this so i can actually get the exact oversized fitting that i'm going for i wouldn't want to go any size bigger when it comes to weight yarn the weight of the yarn basically because the more heavy the yarn is the more heavy the piece is going to be so i'll suggest to use a medium weight yarn or you can even go lower but i wouldn't i would not suggest you go higher than a medium weight yarn just because you don't want the piece to be super heavy when you're done um, so i am going to make a slip knot after making a slip knot i'm going to chain a total of 21 chain so the 21 is basically 20 stitch and then the one is just a turning chain so from here on we are going to go ahead and work after the crochet so right into the second chain from the hook we are going to yarn over and go right in with after the crochet and from here we are going to repeat one after the crochet until we get to the very end of the chain so at the end of the chain i shall have a total of 20 after the crochet so you want to make sure that you go into every stitch because at the end you need to have a total of 20 after book crochets and this is going to be the ribbon part of the um the, the dress so yarn over and insert the after book crochet into the back loop and one into each until you get to the very end so at the end of book two you should still have a total of 20 after book crochet So from here on you're going to repeat one after the crochet into each stitch chain one at the beginning of each row and then you're going to repeat one after the crochet until you get to the end of the row chain one and repeat until you have your desire um rib stitch i did a total of 70 i'm going to go ahead and get mine done and then i'll come back and show you what it looks like and then we can start working on the actual body of the panel so right here i have a total of 70 after book crochet i am going to take a measurement just so you have an idea of the measurement for this remember we are working on the two separate pan the two panels separately so this is basically 24 and a half inches but again it's an after book crochet in the back loop so this stretches but that's what i'm going for um, this is actually a large just an extra large piece so if you don't want to go for the oversized then a 70 will be fine but you're basically going to take um, 
the measurement of how of where you want your dress to end basically but you want to make sure it's free because you can have enough room to walk around um i'm going to have the written pattern linked in my etsy store so in case you want to get the written pattern then you can do so so now after my 70 rows i'm going to go ahead and start working on the actual body of the panel so to get started with the first row i'm going to go ahead and chain one and right into this first available space because right here you can really tell how many stitches because we have the row after the crochet rows so i'm just going to go into this available spaces from this first row so into the first available available space i'm going to go with a single crochet and into the next available space on my um, project i'm going to go with two single crochets and that is going to be the increase pattern so i'm basically going to do one single crochet into the next and two single crochet into the next available space once one single crochet into the next available space and two single crochet into the next available space this is basically the easiest way i can explain this to you and i'm going to repeat this up until the very end um, what I'll suggest you do is count how many single crochets you're doing because again you're going to repeat the same pattern for the front panel and you want to make sure that you have the same amount of single crochets in the 70 after book crochets that you just made just so you can actually have um, all the, the front and the back panel are basically similar and have the same amount of stitches so that is basically what I'm going to repeat and to do um, you can really tell again like I mentioned where to actually place the single crochets you're just going to look for the next available space and you're going to put a single crochet there and repeat this up until the very end so right here I just completed my first row so you guys can see that the single crochet just actually knitting the edge of the panel before you start working with your after double crochet stitches which are double crochet stitches sorry so from here on you're going to chain one and turn and right into the first single crochet you're going to go with a double crochet which is yarn over insert your crochet hook grab and pull through you have three loops yarn over pull through the first two and yarn over and pull through the last two loops and so you're going to repeat one after the crochet in this case into every single crochet from the previous row so you're not increasing just you did like the, like you did from the previous row you're just doing one after the crochet into every stitch until you get to the very end so after your first row this is what your panel should be looking like of course you're going to see some ruffles because we did increase with the single crochet but it's fine as you go along it's just the ruffles are going to disappear and it's just going to widen up so for the next row you're going to chain one and then into the first stitch you're going to go with your first after double crochet guys i'm just so used to saying after double crochet these days you're going to go with your double crochet and you're going to repeat one double crochet into each and every stitch from the previous row and this is basically what we are going to work up for the back panel you're going to repeat this until you have your desired length um chain one at each row at the beginning of each row do one double crochet with no increasing and no decreasing until this panel is long enough for an actual dress um i think mine is going to be around 32 inches because i don't want it to be super long i just want it to fall right above my knee because that's the look i'm going for but of course you can make this as long or whatever size or whatever length you're going for that is totally up to you but you're just going to repeat this rows of double crochet until you get that desired length and for the front panel you're going to go ahead and repeat the same after book crochet stitch when you're done after book crochet ripped pattern you're going to repeat that and then you're going to start the row i am going to get my front panel and my back panel done but then there's a slight difference to the front panel so after working all my rows i'm going to come back and show you guys what the difference is between the front and the back panel and i'll see you guys from there so this is what my back panel currently looks like again i just did enough rows until i got to my desired length and this is the rib which is the bottom part and all the way to the top 
you can't really see the light this very well because of the light the light is messing with me as always for the front panel i already have most of it complete but i need to work on the neckline so i haven't got that done yet and i'm gonna do that with you guys the amount of what i did basically is based on the front the back panel so this is what i did i did place this back panel which is the entire back panel which means that this is the full end that i'm going for and what i actually did was i made sure right where this top i'm going to use this top as an example so you can see that right there there's an opening so where this opening is that is basically where i'm going to count how many rows are from this end up until the very top of the panel so for example what i did was i just basically put on the top that i like and as this v neck for example this one that i have on with this v neckline and then i just where you can also do this up if you don't want your boobs to be outside or if you don't want the opening to be this deep but i think this opening is fine for me so i'm basically just going to put this back panel across my body and feel where this opening is so right there i'm going to count how many rows i have from this point up until the very top and that is what i'm going to subtract from the total to um from the total amount of rows i did for the back panel and i'm going to do that on the front panel so i'm going to grab my front panel so you guys can see the difference between the back and the front so you have an idea of what i mean so this is the front panel as you can see i still have my yarn attached because we're actually not complete yet so i still have a few more rows to do but there's going to be a difference you can see that this one is a little bit more shorter compared to yes so you can see the length difference let's say yeah you can see the length difference between the two panels so these remaining rows is what i'm going to do to give it a neckline i have decided to go for a v neckline but of course this is super this is very very optional you can go for whatever neckline you have in mind but i think i'm gonna go for a v neckline because why not <laughs> so like i mentioned earlier i am going to subtract um some amount of rows so i have decided to subtract a total of 15 rows i did 65 rows in total for the back panel so subtracting 15 from from 65 basically means i'm going to go ahead and do 50 rows which is which i already have now so depending on how deep you want the neckline to be will actually depend on how many rows you would need to subtract before you start working on the neckline so again you're going to make sure you fold your panel into two because this is where we are going to go ahead and mark right at the center of the panel to decide where we are going to stop decreasing and where we are going to start decreasing if it makes sense So coming to this area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this stitch. Again, I did actually did the attach the stitch marker at the opposite end, but you can see that the next stitch is basically where the stitch marker is. So I'm not going to go into that stitch with a double crochet. I'm just going to go ahead and turn. And that is basically our first decrease, the fact that I skipped this stitch. From here on, I'm going to skip this first stitch and into the second stitch, I'm going to go with my first double crochet. I'm also not going to chain anything because this is going to be a decrease row. So while you're decreasing, you don't have to chain anything. So skipping this first stitch into the second, I'm going to yarn over and go right into that second stitch with my first double crochet. And of course, I'm going to repeat one double crochet until I get to the very end of this row. Keep in mind that I have to do this for a total of 15 rows so i can balance the front and the back panel with the same amount of rows so after making it to the end of row 52 i am going to go ahead and come back to the center of the panel because again i have to do a total of 15 rows to balance off this panel with the back panel so because of that i am not going to decrease on this side which means i am going to chain one Whenever you're not decreasing, don't forget to chain one at the beginning of each row. And if you're decreasing, you can just skip the chain one and go straight into the following chain. So I'm going to turn and then obviously going to work my way up until the center with one after the crochet where I'm going to go ahead and do another decrease. 
so i'm going to walk my way and then i'll meet you guys when i get to that point so right here coming at the center of row 53 i am going to decrease again like i mentioned so you can see that there is a little decreasing going on right here this one is slightly bent compared to this other stitch so this means this this is actually the two last stitch on this row on the previous row sorry so we are going to decrease these two together so we can get one stitch which is basically a decrease basic decrease so what i do is basically yarn over insert my crochet work into the first stitch and then i usually just turn around and go into the next stitch before doing anything else so again i am going to yarn over and insert my crochet work into this first stitch and i'm going to go into the next stitch then i'm going to grab my yarn and just do my usual double crochet stitch and right there you can see that i have one stitch instead of two stitch for this last stitch so again for the next row we are going to decrease while we are going back i am not going to chain anything i'm just going to turn skip this first stitch which is the last stitch and i'm going to go into the second with a double crochet and of course repeat one double crochet until i get to the very end and guys this is what i'm going to repeat until i have a total of 15 rows again i want to just make sure that i have 65 on this side for the sleeve i already have one complete and of course i'm going to show you guys how you can get this done so we are going to do the second sleeve together so because i do want my sleeve to be um the lead pattern to be a bit tighter than the rest of the sleeve i did use three millimeter for that side of the just that side of the sleeve and for the rest i did switch back to the 3.5 for the rest of the sleeve so i'm just going to grab my yarn and then we can get started with the and so for this i'm going to use just a string of yarn because i don't have a stitch marker i should be ashamed of myself but i'm not so with my folded this is the folded side and this is basically where the opening is the edge of the panel I am going to grab my stitch marker and grab the stitch that is basically right at the folded side and then I'm just going to mark that stitch with a stitch marker because this is going to be the center of the panel. So now when you open the entire panel into two, you can see that this is going to be the marked stitch which means this is where we are going to stop and go back for the neckline so right here this is my 51st 51st guys so this is my 51st row which means this is going to be a decrease row because again i said i am working i worked 50 rows of no increase no 50 rows of just a normal rows and now we are going to start decreasing for the neckline so you're going to basically just repeat the same thing just the way you would start a simple row and then you're going to work your way up until that mark area so right now i'm just going to do a few more row, double crochets until i get to that area so i'm just going to go ahead and make a slip knot just the same way we did for the panel for the back and the front panel and then i'm just going to go ahead and chain a total of 25 chains uh a total of 21 and then from there i'm going to go into the second chain again just the way you would work normally work a rib pattern with after book crochet all all the way to the very end and i'm going to repeat that until i get to the very end chain one repeat the same after book crochet into the back loop because you know this is a ripped pattern so you want this to go into the back loop and then you're going to repeat that until it's wide enough to go around your wrist because that's the the pattern we are going for but of course if you don't want yours to be tight it doesn't have to be you can make it whatever fit you're going for tight loose whatever fit you, so you want to go for that's what you can do so i'm going to actually just do mine and come back and show you guys what the increase pattern is going to be like for the rest of the sleeve guys i actually thought i was filming but i was not but what i did was i did 23 rows and then 
I did attach the both ends of it together just so I can have a round um, thing going on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and turn this because we are going to start working on the body of the sleeve. So switching to the 3.5 millimeter, we are going to go ahead and do a single crochet around the borders of the the lip um, band just so we can have a foundation to start working on the sleeve so to get started with the first row which is a single crochet row you're going to chain one and in this case you're just going to go all around with a single crochet in every available space this is going to be different for everybody because again there is no way for you to tell how many single crochets you're supposed to do you're just going to go in every space available just to make sure there is no gap in that first row so you might see that I'm actually doing two single crochet in every available space instead of one. That was the first thing I did, but I kind of did not like the way it came out. It was too oversized and then I thought it just was not going to look like what I wanted it to look like. So I went back and did one single crochet instead. So I'm going to repeat that all around and I'll see you guys at the end. And to end off, I'm going to find that first stitch and actually just slip stitch right into it um i would suggest to use a stitch marker for this if you are a total beginner so from here we're going to start a double crochet row and to do that i'm going to turn and chain three which is going to be a double crochet in this case and from here i'm going to go into that same space with another extra double crochet so the chain three is a double crochet and then the double crochet that i just added is actually going to be two double crochets in one space and that means this next space which is the next single crochet we are going to go ahead and insert another two double crochet right into that stitch and into the next another two double crochet and that is the increase pattern for the row. so you're basically adding two double crochet in every single crochet stitch from the previous row and this is what the increase looks like so I'm going to repeat this all around. I'm going to repeat this all around and then I'll see you guys at the very end. So right here I'm coming to the very edge, which means the center of the panel. I am going to go ahead and do my last two double crochet into that last single crochet. And to end of the row, I'm going to go ahead and find my chain three that I did at the beginning and go into the third chain with a slip stitch. Again, I suggest to use a stitch marker if you're a beginner so you can easily find your first stitch. So this is what it looks like. It looks a bit crazy, but after a few rows, you guys can uh, will have an idea of what um, we're going for and how it's supposed to actually look. After that, you're going to turn your work to the opposite end and you're going to chain three again. And from here, you're going to go into the next stitch. So this is your chain three i am going to go into this next stitch with two double crochet this is going to be the second increase and the last increase for the sleeve and then from there into the next stitch i'm going to go with one double crochet and into the next stitch i'm going to go with two double crochet so we're basically going to switch between one double crochet in a stitch and then two double crochet into the next stitch until we get to the very end of the row so coming to the very beginning and I'm going to find the chain 3 I did at the beginning and go into the top chain with a slip stitch to end of the row. And that is all that we are going to do for the increase and again it looks a bit crazy but from now on all you all you're going to do is after slip stitching into the chain 3 you're going to turn your work to the opposite end basically where you're coming from you're going to chain 3. And you're going to go ahead and just do one double crochet in every double crochet from the previous row when you get to the very end you're going to slip stitch into your chain three space turn and repeat this until you have your desired sleeve length so i'm going to obviously do that and then i'll come back and show you guys um what it looks like of course you need a, a another one another pair because you're obviously going to make two sleeves so you can go ahead and do that and then I'll see you guys at the very very end so we can attach the sleeves to the front and the back panel together. So I don't know if this is a me problem but whenever I sleep 
more like I sleep in I wake up with this rubbish headache like my nose is blocked my entire face is just so warm I cannot deal and then my head is spinning that's when I sleep in and when I sleep seven to eight hours my body reacts the same way which means seven to eight hours is basically small but then whenever I sleep ten hours and above I wake up with the same thing so I just don't know what my body needs I don't know what my body once i just don't know i cannot deal with that i cannot even just figure things out but it's been a couple of days i have all the pieces complete so now we are going to attach everything together and just try on this dress and see what it looks like i have no idea what this is gonna look like i have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit too big just a feeling so this is our front panel let me just put this across my body so you have an idea see this is a front panel complete so we now this is what i mean by i have a feeling it's gonna be a bit too big but again i'm going for the oversized i want when i wear this you think i stole it from someone i don't know stole it from someone that i don't know just i just want you to know it does not belong to me but it does indeed belong to me because i made it right here i have my two sleeve so everything is actually complete all we have to do is just attach everything together and then we just see what the final thing looks like so i'm gonna go to the table now and attach the front and the back panel together put it on so i can have an idea of what i'm working with before i attach the sleeve so in case there's anything i need to adjust then i'll do that before attaching the entire sleeve and then i take everything out and then attach everything again no so right here i have my back panel going to lay this flat i hope you guys can have a look can see everything going on at the table the panel is super wide so there is a chance that you might miss some parts of the panel because it's getting it's really wide but you're going to lay your back panel very very flat on the surface and you're going to grab the front panel as always and align this to the back panel right there see very simple so from here on, what I'm going, I'm just going to show you guys what the the deal is because you can go ahead and do this. I don't have to show the entire process of this. So I'm just going to attach from the shoulder area, which is basically this end. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm actually doing. So yes. So I'm going to attach my end right there and single crochet all the way to the end. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Attach my hand and single crochet all the way to the end. Afterwards, I'm going to grab my sleeve as an example of how wide I want the neck, the arm hole to be. And then I'll do the same. But I'm going to attach the top first so I can come back and show you guys what I mean by the sleeve. Just so you don't get confused about what I'm saying. So now I have both sides of the shoulders single crochet, single crochet together. Again, like I said, to you know how wide I want my arm hole to be, I'm going to grab my sleeve and then I'm just going to take a measurement of how wide the sleeve is. So basically, right here, I can see that mine is 13 inches. So that is just one length, one side of the sleeve, which means 13 inches is what I'm going to measure on the body of the panel. Of the back and the front panel together so you're just going to again make sure everything is just laying flat on the surface and i'm going to grab my measurement tape and check 13 inches and 13 inches is about this end which means this is where i'm going to attach my yarn and start single crocheting all the way to the edge of the the panels
Can you see my eyes? I think my eyes are going in tears because of how much I love it. I thought it was going to be big. This is exactly what I had in mind. Let me move back a bit so you guys can actually... Wait, I think I need to... Let me move you guys a bit. I... You can't really see... I love it! Guys, this is one of the... I think this is one of the best things I've ever made. Because, if you know me, I love comfortable clothes. And the color... And the length and the size okay let's go attach this list so we can have an idea of what I'm going to turn the panel into the seam area so basically the seam has to be outside which is going to be the wrong area lay it flat grab the sleeve and what i usually do is i'm just going to attach the sleeve so the sleeve is basically at the right area where it's supposed to be and i'm going to attach the sleeve inside making sure where i did end of the row with the chain three is going to be at the edge of the seam so basically at under the armpit area so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to grab the sleeve insert the edge of the sleeve inwards And then after that is complete, I'm just going to grab my yarn, attach the yarn to the sleeve and to the panel, and go into single crochet all around. And that's basically what the sleeve is about. So my battery is low, I'm going to finish the two sleeves and then I'll come back and show you guys what the final result looks like! I'm so excited. So, I am everything attached together so we basically have an entire piece right now but i still have to sew in the loose ends guys this is huge it looks like an entire blanket like literally i think somebody two people can actually get into this but that's what i was going for so i'm going to sew in all the loose ends and then i'll put this on so you guys can see what the final look looks like because I'm excited I'm really I wanted to style it but because I want this video to be up tomorrow I don't have the time to style it <laughs> going to put on the piece and see what it looks like the final final look when I say I'm obsessed like this actually just gives me it gives me a different feeling something I haven't felt in a long time because I feel like it's been a while that I made something that was just genuinely that I just genuinely liked like I've been crocheting obviously for the past few months but this is probably the first thing I've made in probably six months that I just genuinely like and that feeling is what I've been looking for the long for the longest time as somebody who actually crochet and create because sometimes you create because you need to and because you, that's what you do but when you create something with, that you actually like the feeling is just different and that's how i feel with this thing with this piece this is how i feel with this piece i feel like this is gonna be my most worn piece maybe when the weather gets warm then i will put this aside but until then until then this is going to be my ootd every single i i love i love uh, this is you know when you have an idea of something and then you make it and just the way you saw yourself in it like the way you imagined yourself in it that's how it turned out anyway this is the end of this video i really hope you guys make this and you get the same feeling that i just had that I'm probably going to have, this feeling is probably going to be with me until the next project. I really hope you get that same feeling because I enjoyed. It took me so long because I started this last year. 
but i don't regret actually continuing this because of how big the project is i'm usually like mm, mm, but i really do not regret taking time out to finish this project i am also going to make a written pattern for others that actually just prefer written pattern it's gonna be in my etsy store um obviously if you like this video give me a big thumbs up um yeah but that's that's it for this video i will see you guys in my next project Bye-bye.